Mason Mount's one-word response to Arsenal defeat speaks volumes about Man United's situation. Mason Mount issued a morale-boosting message following Manchester United's friendly defeat to Arsenal in the United States, which saw the Reds' Devils pick up two injuries. Mason Mount's one-word reaction to Manchester United's defeat to Arsenal spoke volume as he looks for a fresh start at Old Trafford. The former Chelsea midfielder endured a disappointing first season with the Red Devils, with his cause not helped by injury. After a tough season overall for United, albeit one rounded off by a surprise FA Cup triumph over Manchester City, numerous figures at the club are looking for a clean break. They include head coach Eric Ten Hag, who has not only be kept on but has signed a new long-term contract. Meanwhile, Jaden Sancho has been reintegrated back into the squad following his public falling out with Ten Hag, who said the club had found complete unity as he penned his new deal. Mount, meanwhile, is looking to regain the form which made him a fixture in Gareth Southgate's England squad. And despite a 2-1 loss to the Gunners in Los Angeles, Mount was keen to stay positive as he took to social media post-match. Posting an image of himself being helped to his feet by Casemiro, he captioned it, Together, on Instagram, appearing to show the unity within the squad and among the players and staff ahead of the new season. He also shared a picture celebrating with Hojlund, captioning it, Love it, lads. Ten Hag recently jumped to defense of Mount, insisting it was impossible to judge him on his first season at United. The Dutchman, who deployed Mount on the right wing against Arsenal, hailed the player's versatility, insisting, You can't judge his season because he was injured. Don't judge him. But when he is fit, he will be a very good player for us, and we can use him. Versatile. You need certain types in the squad, team players, multifunctional players. He is one of the players who can play in several positions. He will help the team. However, United's positivity will be tested by a couple of concerning injury issues which surfaced against Arsenal. Hodgelin came off early on shortly after giving United the lead, and the Dane was followed back to dressing room by new signing Lenny Yoro. While neither issue is thought to be serious, they are a headache for Ten Hag ahead of the Community Shield against City on Saturday, August 10th. Mason Mount's one-word response to Manchester United's defeat against Arsenal has become a focal point for understanding the current situation at the club. The brief yet poignant comment encapsulates a broader sense of frustration and determination within the squad. Following the match, which ended in a disappointing loss for United, Mount was approached by reporters for his reaction. When asked about the game and the team's performance, he responded with a single emphatic word, frustrating. This terse reply, though simple, reveals much about the mood within Manchester United. Frustrating captures the essence of the players' emotions after a match where they had hoped to secure a positive result. It reflects a mix of disappointment with the outcome and a recognition that the team's performance fell short of expectations. The defeat against Arsenal, a crucial fixture in the Premier League, highlights several issues that have been plaguing Manchester United. For one, the result underscores ongoing concerns about consistency and the ability to perform under pressure. Despite having a squad filled with talent and potential, United's inability to secure victories in key matches has been a recurring theme this season. Mount's choice of words also hints at the internal challenges the team is facing. The frustration could be directed at various factors, including tactical decisions, individual performances, or even broader systemic issues within the club. As a key player who has been brought in to make a difference, Mount's reaction may also signal his personal frustration with the team's current situation and his desire for improvement. Moreover, the comment reflects the sentiment of urgency among the squad. There is a clear need for change, whether that involves tactical adjustments, better integration of new signings, or addressing issues in team cohesion. Mount's response serves as a reminder of the high standards and expectations that come with playing for Manchester United, a club that has historically been known for its winning mentality. As the team moves forward, this single-word response from Mason Mount might act as a catalyst for reflection and action. 
It underscores the necessity for the squad to address the underlying issues and to come together to turn their fortunes around. The focus will now shift to how Manchester United can regroup, learn from their setbacks, and work towards achieving their goals for the remainder of the season. Meanwhile, in other news, Man United transfer news, Paulo Dybala interest remains as bosses face Mason Greenwood dilemma. Manchester United continue to be linked with players they've pursued in the past, the likes of Paulo Dybala and Adrian Rabiot, whilst the future of Mason Greenwood remains unclear. Manchester United have chosen to stick by Eric Ten Hag, and the Dutchman is now focusing on his summer recruitment. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the Old Trafford hierarchy have the chance to influence the club's transfer dealings for the first time. Funds on the red half of Manchester and understood to be limited, which will determine what they can and can't do. United are still looking to offload several players and are welcoming offers for almost the entirety of their squad. Several of their young gems are prized assets and are tipped to further development, but around that, Ten Hag will want to add quality and experience. Here's the latest from Old Trafford. Ten Hag driving Dybala interest. Paulo Dybala is a summer target for the club, with Ten Hag understood to be driving the club's interest in the Argentine. United were previously linked with a move for Dybala when he was on Juventus books, but he's since moved to Roma. Italian newspaper Il Messaggero understand that the frontman is yet to hold talks over a new contract at the Stadio Olimpico, which would rid of his 10 a release clause. When quizzed on his future, Dybala confessed, Italy has given me everything. It'd be hard to leave. But of course, you always have the curiosity and wonder how you do in leagues as good as La Liga and the Premier League, where there are great teams and great players. Greenwood Dilemma. The Red Devils are desperate to sell Mason Greenwood before the team's summer tour of the United States, amid fears the forward may have to join up with the squad. United will have to allow Greenwood to report back for preseason training if they can't agree on a deal with his many suitors, reports the Daily Star. The player spent last season on loan at Spanish club Getafe and is keen to leave United for good, but they want 35 nominers. Lazio, Napoli and Juventus are all keen on the Englishman but don't have the finances to cough up United's asking price. The squad report back to Carrington on July 8th, and Greenwood is expected to show up if he's still contracted to the club. The dilemma then becomes whether or not to allow Greenwood to travel to America next month if he hasn't been sold. Manchester United's transfer landscape is currently defined by two prominent storylines. The enduring interest in Paulo Dybala and the evolving situation surrounding Mason Greenwood. The club's pursuit of Dybala continues to capture attention, reflecting their ambition to bolster their attacking options with a player renowned for his creativity and technical prowess. However, alongside this pursuit, lies a dilemma concerning Mason Greenwood, the young forward whose potential and growth within the squad present both opportunities and challenges. Greenwood's emergence as a key figure in United's attack necessitates careful management of his development and playing time to maximize his impact while nurturing his talent for the long term. The juxtaposition of Dybala's potential arrival and Greenwood's development underscores United's dual commitment to immediate success and sustainable growth. The decision-makers at the club face the delicate task of balancing short-term ambitions with a coherent strategy for talent management and squad evolution. For Dybala, the allure of joining a prestigious club like Manchester United offers the prospect of competing at the highest levels of European football, underlining the mutual benefits of such a transfer for both player and club. Meanwhile, Greenwood's continued presence and progression within the squad provide a foundation for United's future, embodying the club's ethos of developing homegrown talent. As negotiations and decisions unfold, United's approach to these dual narratives will undoubtedly shape their trajectory in the upcoming seasons, influencing both their competitiveness on the pitch and their broader strategic direction. 
Football enthusiasts and pundits alike will closely monitor developments as the transfer window progresses, eager to see how these storylines ultimately unfold. Manchester United's persistent links with players like Paulo Dybala highlight the club's ongoing pursuit of top-tier talent to bolster their squad. Dybala, a versatile and technically gifted forward, has been on United's radar in previous transfer windows, reflecting their continued interest in securing players capable of elevating the team's attacking potency. The pursuit of Dybala underscores United's commitment to reinforcing their squad with proven quality. His skill set, which includes creative flair, goal-scoring ability, and tactical versatility, aligns with United's ethos of dynamic and expansive football.